Hey guys, Dan from The Fold here. Wanted to come at you with a new segment we're going to call Ninjago Secrets and Revelations. Secrets and Revelations. Anyway, uh, this came up because um, every time we put out a new intro, which we just released the Shintaro Dungeon Whip, uh, we get people who bring up old intros and they, they like to rank them from 1 to 10, uh, which I don't think is that cool because they're all my babies, but uh, Ninja's gonna Ninja. Actually, one kid um, notably put our new intro, Shintaro Dungeon Whip, to all of the intros uh, 1 through 13. And um, I thought that was kind of hilarious because he put the fast part of Shintaro Dungeon Whip, which happens around two minutes in, I believe. Uh, he put that with the original intro from the first or second season. And it worked really well because if you remember, that was just a fast punk rock song. And uh, so he did that with the new one, which I thought was cool to see. Kind of showed how far we've come and how not far we've come. <laughs> Dan, what are you doing? You totally changed the subject. That's not what we're talking about in this video. I know, I have a scattered brain. It's how my brain works. I'll get back to it. Anyway, back to uh, Secrets and Revelations. Oh, shoot. I just noticed the thumbs up button below. I think it's gray. We need you to make that blue. I think, I think you just have to click it. I think that's all. I think that's all you need to do. Anyway, let me take this opportunity to welcome you. If you're not a subscriber and you just wound up here by some YouTube mishap, uh, welcome. My name is Dan, I sing in the fold. And we're gonna need you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. That's how we know you love us and that's how I know we can be best friends. Would you please could we be best friends? So do it. All right, for real now, the issue at hand. Somebody brought up the Arcadian Whip, as I started to say about a half hour ago, and um, it got me thinking, we actually didn't have that title until the final hour, as these things go in Foldland. Um, somebody had thought of the idea to call it Arcadian Whip, but we had been working with a working title I'm just looking back at my old Pro Tools files here, but we have all sorts of file names that were saved. Uh, so actually one of the earliest working titles for this song was the 64-bit whip. It reminded me uh, back growing up there were, shout out to all the original gamers who were playing on ColecoVision and Atari and TurboGrafx-16. I remember uh, going to an arcade once and somebody bragging that some of the arcade games had 64-bit graphics. And so we really liked that name, so we were calling it the 64-bit whip. Uh, we did a lot of studying uh, of chiptune music for this song. Uh, we didn't quite go that route. For a while it was called the chip whip. Chip whip makes me hungry. We ended up going with the Arcadian whip. It was about the time we uh, turned in the intro and started talking about artwork, uh, Tommy Andreessen. Uh, brought up the name Arcadian Whip, I believe, and it was a no-brainer. The second we heard it, we said, well, that's it. Uh, we definitely don't need to call it the Chip Whip or the 64-bit Whip. So then we started talking about artwork, and I actually, I was doing some artwork on my own. I'm actually gonna show you guys some failed uh, artwork from the Arcadian Whip as well. Uh, this first one is one that I tried out. It seemed obvious to me, uh, the, the image of the arcade, which I know is in the Lego set, um, just looks so awesome. I love the way it says the fold on it. Um, that's probably a logo that we'll, we'll keep around for t-shirts and whatnot. Um, if you want to see that in a t-shirt, please say something in the comments and we'll uh, keep that in mind. We're always looking for new ideas. This was kind of the artwork, uh, but then we kind of just wanted to go a different direction. So this next one I'll show you right now uh, was another one that I came up with to just kind of say like, okay, there's the arcade thing, that's the literal interpretation. What's another route we could go? 
And that's what you're looking at here. This is another image that was given to us from the show and we just went light, kept that same logo from the arcade machine uh, for the fold. And we loved this. This was actually the artwork um, for a while. And then Tommy uh, came back at us with um, some ideas. That's the first time, to my knowledge, that we've collaborated directly with him on artwork. And the second we saw it, we were like, oh my goodness, those ninjas are gonna brawl. And uh, we just wanted to keep it exactly how he had it. So we didn't touch a thing. We just said, thank you, that's that. And that was the final artwork for the Arcadian Whip. So that's about it for today. I wanted to reveal a couple things about uh, this great intro that has become part of the Ninjago story now. Uh, we just love how you guys make these your own uh, with your videos. Yeah, it's been awesome. You guys have really given us just such a huge past few weeks. And so we wanted to post these little things to say thank you keep checking out the store. We just added a bunch of masks and t-shirts and hoodies and stickers. Uh, we actually have a thing going on right now with the masks. If you just type in the code wear a mask at our Teespring store, which I will link below, you can get 10% off all masks in our store um, to just encourage people to be wearing those. So the code is wear a mask, W-E-A-R-A-M-A-S-K and um, that's just a little way to help you uh, afford it. We try to make them as cheap as possible anyway. This is just a way for us to stop the spread, care about those around you. Hey, it's a way to show your support for Ninjago, and I know you guys love to do that. So lots of other cool stuff in the store. I wish I was wearing a sample right now. Mine's in the mail. Uh, the way this works is we put designs up. If you don't buy it, it never gets printed. So it's a nice uh, low risk way for us to try out some stuff, put stuff in front of you quicker, and we're just gonna keep on doing that. So tell us what you like in the comments below. If you have a favorite um, t-shirt, hoodie, mask, sticker, fanny pack, uh, duffel bag, whatever it is, um, tell us what you want. We'll, we'll make sure it's in there. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. My name is Dan from The Fold. Be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll be back once a week with these things. See ya.